guys. So, um, first of all, I want to say that I'm sorry that I haven't really uploaded kind of like a video in kind of a little bit. I know I've still been uploading like some shorts and things like that, so I haven't really been like totally gone, but um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to like explain some of that today. I'm sorry I'm starting this video off with no makeup. There's a reason why for that, guys. I kind of just thought like as I just kind of talk to you guys and do that kind of thing, that I might as well like do makeup on here at the same time. So basically that's what I'm doing today. So before I start my makeup, I always just kind of like moisturize my face. All right, so to begin everybody, I'm gonna be using one of my favorite moisturizers ever. And this is the Jeffree Star Magic Star Hydrating Moisturizer. It's a strawberry one. This moisturizer, guys, is just amazing. I might need a new one soon, cause like, you know, I go through it. But yeah, it's just so nice. It feels so nice on your skin. It smells amazing. And I just always think Jeffree makes like, not only the best makeup, but also the best like skincare product. That's what I'm using today, guys. I love this. Alright guys, and next thing I'm gonna do is just like use primer before I do foundation and all that. This Jeffree Primer too, this Cotton Candy Foaming Primer, I've been obsessed with like this whole collection. But yeah, this primer, it is like amazing. I kind of feel like since I started using it, like, I don't know, my foundation just always applies, like I feel like better than ever. And it smells amazing, it feels amazing. It's just like honestly the best primer, so. Basically, that's what I'm using today. I'm just putting this everywhere. I'm gonna start like actually applying foundation and stuff. And maybe I'll actually start talking to you guys about like why I haven't really been posting and yeah. So the foundation that I pretty much always like to use, it's like, as you guys can probably tell, I'm like super pale. I'm basically like a vampire. So um, I really love this like Armani Luminous Silk. I use this like all the time. I feel like it's one of like, I know maybe it's not like a perfect match, but I feel like it's definitely one of the closest for me. So something that I guess I kind of wanted to talk about today, I know I've kind of already talked about this and at this point I kind of have like mixed feelings about even talking about it online. Cause like I get like some kind of like weird reactions and yeah, I kind of talked about already guys how like last month my grandma, passed away um, by the time I post this video. Some of you guys are probably gonna be like, it's not last month because technically it's almost September now. But at the time I'm filming this, it's August. She passed in July, so yeah. And honestly, like I always want to try to be like positive for you guys online. I never want to like make things too sad, even right now or anything, but you know, she did pass and um, that's been like a really hard situation. It's like she lived with us for years before she passed away and I've kind of already made a video about this and sometimes I kind of feel like when I do talk about it, like people are just kind of like, I don't know, like some people are like, you don't, you're not emotional enough about it, which it's like you wouldn't really know how I've been and how I am like off camera and as a lot of this happens. And also then some people kind of get upset and are like, oh, she just wants a pity party and like make comments like that, which kind of make me feel bad too. But I mean, it's okay. But anyways, um, it just honestly is kind of like a hard situation, guys, where like I said, she was living with us for years and we all always will really love her. And I know she's in a better place now. And you know, I think I just have to try to like remember that and that she's not in pain and that is good. Um, but you know, it's still just like a hard thing. And we actually just had her burial like about a week ago. Um, I posted about that on Instagram and I know some people I think were like confused about that too because they were like, she already passed, they waited this long. It's like, and we had reasons guys, you know, there's different ways like to do burials. She like really, really loved her husband and he died like years ago before I was even born. So also it wasn't even fully up to me at all. But you know, I think that my family and especially my mom, cause she's my grandma from my mom's side, thought that she would have wanted the most was to be buried 
back in Massachusetts and next to her husband. But that probably would have been like her biggest like wish and everything. So basically that's what we did was what we waited some time. Um, we also buried her there on their anniversary when they would have been together actually like 70 years, which is crazy. It's like, yeah, it just kind of seemed like the best thing to do. But I guess just like with all that still kind of going on guys and even that week, like, it kind of brings back just like a lot of emotions, I guess. I know like maybe I shouldn't still be like as sad about it or I don't really know, but it's still just like a sad situation. And I guess even going back to the burial and all that too, it just kind of brings back like a lot of like memories and all that, you know, you know. And besides that, I don't know. I just kind of feel like sometimes life just gets kind of crazy and busy and I also have been trying to be there for my family like I know when my mom it's been pretty hard too where it's like losing her mother and everything so like I hope that all of that makes sense and I'm just gonna put some foundation on my neck too do you guys like my Powerpuff necklace today <laughs> yeah I love Powerpuff girls and Bubbles is my favorite. I got like this cute like Bubbles dress on today. So yeah, I even have like the hair ties. All right, so guys, then I'm gonna start putting concealer on. So my favorite concealer here, it is the Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer. Jeffree's got also, I think like the best concealers, guys. It's like, if Jeffree ever makes a foundation, I'm so buying it. I feel like it'd probably be like the one thing that would like perfect match me. Cause I said like, just like I said, I'm like super pale. Um, I use the C1 and honestly, I love this concealer so much. I probably don't even need to be using as much as I'm using right now because you really don't even have to use a lot of this for just to like really. That's what I'm using today. Thank you guys again. Um, I'm sorry that I'm still talking about it like this much after like she first passed, but I really do appreciate everybody that sent so much love. Cause some of you guys really, really have and people that have been like so kind to me and stuff like with everything. It like honestly me always means like so much to me, you guys. I just hope the people that are kind always know like how much I appreciate it. So now I have the concealer like blended in. Well, I'm now gonna use the Jeffree um, powder here and Jeffrey just makes like all the best products guys like this I think is like the best powder too. I love it I'm so sad because I was just gonna buy another one and I think these are like all sold out right now Sadly, my faves are like the translucent and then I also really love this like lavender one and it smells really nice It makes your makeup stay on so well And you guys even though I know I haven't been the most like on YouTube Except I have been posting some shorts. Um, if any of you guys are on TikTok, I'm on TikTok like a lot now. Like I do lives like almost every day. The week of the burial, I was really not on a lot cause like, you know, it was just kind of too sad and crazy of a week. And I was in a hotel and stuff and just like a lot of things. But yeah, normally I'm doing lives on there like almost every day now. And I also been posting a lot of videos on there guys. I just posted a Selena one with me like in a Selena outfit, just dancing with Selena music. Probably one of my best ones. You guys should go watch it. If you guys want to follow me over there, my username is just like Eugenia XX Cooney. Okay, so I'm really weird like how with how I do makeup guys. Like, I don't know if anyone else does this, but a lot of time the way I'll do it, I'll kind of like start out doing foundation and doing like face makeup. And then I go and do eye makeup and then I kind of come back to like finishing face stuff. I don't know why I do it like that, but I just kind of always have. I guess today I'm just gonna like stay doing that basically. So you guys, what I like to actually use as a primer like a lot of time is I just kind of use this same like Jeffree concealer. Honestly, I feel like it really, really works. It actually makes like a really great base for eyeshadow. So I think today I'm just gonna kind of do that same thing and use this as my eyeshadow base. Eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna use, you guys. I was kind of debating between today if I wanna do something really dark or if I wanna do something more colorful. And I 
I think when it comes down to it, I'm gonna do like, I'll probably use some like darker blues, but I'm gonna use blue blood palette today, you guys. This is like one of my favorite palettes ever. I love like all of Jeffree's palettes, but the blue blood, definitely one of my faves. I think it's so amazing. Yeah, so I just kind of decided blue would be a good color to do where like, I got the whole bubbles outfit and everything on today too. So it's kind of like, you can't go wrong with doing blue today. Like this palette here is so beautiful guys. And I just feel like it has some of like, the most like amazing blues ever. So that's what I'm gonna be using and just using a bunch of these blue shades. And then I kind of guess like another thing is guys, like kind of since me even like coming back online and everything, I've also had like some people be like, oh, like she's not sad, she shouldn't be online, she shouldn't be doing like lives and all that. Honestly, like the first week that my grandma passed, like I wasn't online pretty much like at all, but I guess I just kind of felt like a lot that week, like me just kind of like sitting around and just thinking about things. Like it just kind of makes me feel worse. So in a way, like as crazy as it might sound to some people, it kind of makes me feel like better at least being able to like, do something a little more positive and get my mind a little off of things than just kind of like sitting in my room being sad. Like I understand like some people maybe wouldn't feel that way or think like it's a weird way for me to react or whatever. But I guess just kind of like, you know, these situations can be really hard. And I guess I just kind of feel like everybody has like a different way of like reacting to things or different things that help them. So sometimes I just kind of wish that people would be like a little bit less quick to judge that and to assume like the worst just like about someone's intentions especially when it's like a really like sad and like serious situation like this kind of get your mind off things for a little bit and I'm sorry to still be talking about this by the way guys like I know some people they're probably like stop looking for attention Eugenia so Sorry to people that also get like upset with me talking about it. I guess it's just like I said, where she lived with us for so many years. She was a really big part. It always will be a really big part of all our lives. I hope that makes sense. This color is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, like this is titles cover. Both of these like sparkly kind of shades here. I'm like obsessed with, I mean, I love all the shades here, but just kind of had to point that out. <laughs> Jeffrey just makes the best makeup guys. That's the good thing with his makeup guys. You can support an amazing person and like super, super great product. And then I'm just gonna do kind of some blending on these two. Also like super obsessed with these Jeffree eye glosses. They're amazing. This one is called Brain Freeze. It's kind of like a light blue. And I always kind of like to use this like when I do blue looks a lot. I'm gonna put this just like a little bit kind of like in the inner corner here and just kind of do some more blending underneath here. And then like another of my favorite shades in this palette, it's kind of like this white, just like really shiny shade. It's called Cullinan. I just kind of want to use this like in my inner corner here. And I'm kind of like below my brow bone. Um, another eye gloss that like I really love is this Blunt of Diamonds. That's just like this really shiny kind of like diamond white kind of shade. I'm just gonna kind of put that on top of where I put the other white shadow. Like I already think just with the shadow it looks so pretty, but I just kind of feel like this eye gloss is so beautiful and just makes things like even more pretty and shiny. Might as well guys, or I'm doing a video today for you guys. I haven't done a video in a while. <laughs> like put it on and just go like all out. And all right, you guys, and those are pretty much like the shadows that I'm gonna be doing. Obviously, I'm still gonna do liner and do all that, that stuff as well, but that's basically shadow colors. So I'm just gonna kind of do the same thing to the other eye and then come right back. All right, guys, so now I have 
the shadows done on both sides as you guys can tell so I'm just gonna now kind of like put liner on and do all that um for my waterline um I'm like obsessed with these Fenty Beauty liners guys Rihanna really knows how to make a good liner I love these so I have like this blue one here I don't I think I don't really know the name to be honest but oh okay Lady Lagoon <laughs> So I'm just gonna kind of like put this like right in my waterline. And that just shows up like so much, like even just in like the waterline. So I love this liner. I think it's so amazing. And then I'm gonna be using here my Anastasia gel liner. I don't know guys, I've just always really liked gel liners. I think they're just really easy to apply and work super well. And this Anastasia one, I love it because it's super black, it's in the shade Jet. It's great, it's a really great black liner. So I'm just gonna kind of do that. I of course, I always like to go pretty dramatic on the liner, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's like, I don't even feel like myself without it. All right guys, I'm just gonna like put that on. Of course, gotta do like the corner of my eye, guys, because like that's just how I always do liner. It just feels so weird to me not doing that. <laughs> And as you guys can see, I now have a liner done. I always feel so much better with liner on. It's like, I don't feel like myself without it. So yeah. Okay, so I never really used to do this because I know my eyebrows are like kind of thick. People always used to tell me that too. So yeah. Some people online told me I should maybe try filling them in. And I actually feel like sometimes like they kind of look better like that. So I'm gonna be using here guys, Jeffree Star Weirdo Palette. Another one of my favorite palettes ever. But today I'm just kind of using it to like fill in my brows. I'm going into the darkest shade here called Weirdo. And I'm just gonna kind of like, I don't know, I don't actually have eyebrow, eye, eyebrow gel because I never used to do this or anything. So I just kind of have been using like dark shadow, but I actually feel like it kind of works. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm also just gonna like clean up the shadows like a little bit with concealer. Just where I might've applied too much. Oh, you guys, my lashes, like, I always say this, but like, they're so straight if I don't curl them. So I'm just gonna kind of curl them a little bit. I got my Chanel curler here, so I'm just gonna use this to like, curl my lashes. All right, and then I'm just gonna use here um, the Lancome like Idle Lash Waterproof Mascara. I love this mascara. I think it just makes your lashes like really nice and dramatic, which I love. It kind of goes back to like I said, my lashes are so straight, guys. And really, I feel like sometimes unless I use like waterproof, it like it just doesn't work on me. They just go back to being straight. So that's what we're using today. All right, you guys, so that's done. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is just put on like my false lashes. These are the Lily Lashes Miami. I'm still honestly obsessed with these. So yeah, I still really love them. I just think they're so pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put these on real quick. All right, guys, so as you guys can hopefully see, eye makeup now is like pretty much done. So yeah, I guess it's done. Um, so now I'm gonna pretty much go back to just like finishing like face makeup and all that. So I'm gonna take my Anastasia um, Contour Powder Kit. This I always try to go kind of light on guys cause I am so pale that it's like, I feel like if I go like too heavy with it, I'm just gonna look like bruised basically. So anyways, I'm gonna be taking the kind of like cool shade 
Yeah, the kind of cool tone shade in the middle there. That's the one that I kind of usually use because I am like very cool tone, I feel like. And just kind of apply this like a little bit. And make sure I blend this in like later too, because like like I said, I don't want to look like bruised or anything, so yeah. <laughs> Besides that though, I actually really love this powder kit. Like, I've been using it for like years now and I think it's great. It's just I gotta be kind of careful with it since I'm like a vampire basically. obsessed with the new Jeffree Star liquid blushes. They're seriously amazing. And I have the two new ones. Um, I'm gonna be using the Cupcake Royalty today. Both two new ones are some of my like absolute favorites yet. I think they're all great, but I really love these. So yeah, this Cupcake ro Royalty, I feel like also me being so pale, this one, I don't know, it's like not too overpowering. It's just like a super, super pretty, kind of like baby pink color, sorta. I'm just gonna like put this on, kind of tap it on. Like this product's so good. Like you really don't even need to use like a lot of it at all. You just get like great pigment and it's just so pretty. So, all right, that's what I'm using. Look how pretty that pink is. And then other side, obviously. Then, I don't know guys, I always just kind of like to put a little bit on my nose. Like, sorry to people that don't like that, but I just kind of think it looks cute like that. So that's what I'm doing. And then of course guys, like I also wouldn't really feel like myself without highlighter makeup because I just love highlighter. So I'm going to be using the Ice Crusher Jeffree palette today, you guys. And this is one of my favorite blush, sorry, <laughs> highlight colors. Um, It's called Pluto and it's just kind of like a blue highlighter. And I'm just kind of like, hey, we're, we're like doing blue today. It's like, what is better than a blue highlighter? So, all right, I'm just going to like Put this on. Alright you guys, so yeah, I absolutely love that highlighter color. I think it's so beautiful. And then, where I love highlighters so much, you guys, I'm gonna be using a second highlighter. So guys, these are like my absolute favorites. These are the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Extreme Frost. Today I'm using it in the blue one, which is called Gag Me. You know, blue, perfect. And, and these are just like so beautiful. These are like the absolute best highlighters ever. So, all right, look how shiny that is. It's so pretty. So, all right, you guys, I'm just gonna apply this real quick. These highlighters are literally like the most beautiful highlighters in the world. Like you guys, nobody makes the highlighters good as Jeffree. I swear, like his highlighters, they are like the absolute best. And you guys, Jeffree also I think has like the best lipsticks ever. So back like the cotton candy collection, I've been like obsessed with like the threesome um, like mini liquid lipstick. Like this shade here, it's called Jeffree's Candy. It's like the pink. I think it's such a cute and pretty color. It's like such a perfect pink shade. I've been like obsessed with this. I've literally ordered like multiples of these cause that's how much I like it. And all right, I'm just gonna like, I think I'm gonna use this as my lip color today. That pink, you guys, I just love it. I think it's such a beautiful pink. And then, just cause we want everything to stay on and all that. And this is just also a great setting spray. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Wedding Proof Setting Spray and just kind of like set everything in. I love that setting spray so much guys, like it smells great, it works great. It's just an amazing setting spray. So okay, I'm gonna fix up my hair and be right back. And 
Alright you guys, so that is my makeup now, like pretty much all done. I hope that you guys like how it turned out and everything. I kind of wanted to make a video just kind of explaining what I haven't been uploading that much and I guess just kind of like talking to you guys about things. So thank you to everyone that listens. Also, big thank you to everyone that has been so nice. I really appreciate you guys so much. And all right, I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Give the video a like if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. And all right, I'll talk to you guys later.